Hey, sweet peas, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am back with another video to get you ready for from season three because it will be out this Sunday, September 22nd. And I need you to be ready. I need you to be prepped. So if you've been keeping up with the wild ride, that is from you, the show has been giving, okay? And it's been giving mystery to me more than horror, but horror is definitely an element. With season three on the way, I'm here to give you a quick breakdown of what I feel like you need to know so that you can jump into season three fully prepared. Let's get right into it. So just for a quick recap of seasons one and two, if you need a refresher, we're following a group of strangers who find themselves trapped in a mysterious, creepy town from Ville is what I call it, okay? No way out, and to make matters worse, when the sun goes down, the freaks come out, okay? And these are not normal freaks. These are human presenting freaks that have monsters on the inside of them that will rip you to shreds, open up your rib cage. They will do all of those things, okay? Um, <laughs> survivors try to uncover the secrets of the town. Uh, with every answer, more questions arrive. So if you love a good horror mystery, then this show might be right for you, okay? I will say that as we get into season two, the plot definitely thickens as we're kind of about the source of the talismans, what they do, um, they can be made. Victor is giving us far more clues about what he knows. Something's coming out gradually, little by little, that we're learning more, right? We kind of come up with a system to... Uh, a radio system to contact people. You know, we're kind of at patterns by this point, right? Let's talk characters. The show centers around several different characters. Our main protagonist, though, is Boyd Stevens, played by Harold Perrineau, who is the town sheriff. Uh, he's determined to protect everyone, right? Um, do gooder nature will overwhelm you. Okay, he took out his wife, all right, in order to save this town. So he is fully invested in law and order. And he's honestly the one um, to watch. I feel like he is the key to a lot of this, okay, a lot. Next, we have Tabitha and Jim Matthews, Ethan and Julia Matthews as well, their children. And this is the most problematic and annoying family that I think I've seen in a show in a very long time. From the moment they entered Frumville, I couldn't stand them. All right. I just, and to this day, I don't like any of them. All right. And so we kind of their journey of getting in and out of trouble. Ethan seeing the boy in white, he's definitely been instrumental to the story. Julia just being an annoying, angsty teenager who decides that she's going to live at the uh, communal home rather than living with her family in the beginning. And we kind of see that arc. You know, we go through her kind of that it's more than just being about her and her discomfort. Um, Ethan growing up a little bit. You know, as far as Jim and Tabitha, they swear they're the dutiful parents, but they don't be paying attention to these kids. He's hyper obsessed by the end of season two with making communication to get out. And Tabitha is too. She's on a mission now by the end of season two to rescue some kids, okay? We find her as the only one that we've known to have escaped from Bill in the finale of episode or of season two. Um, we have Victor and he's the town oddball. He has been there since almost the beginning, honey, since he was a child. And so he knows the game. He knows how many graves to bury. He has an idea of when the pattern switches up, like the Matthews arrive and then Jade and his friend come like in a matter of hours, he knows something's off. Okay. Just got greater insight and definitely I'm interested to see what's going to happen with him in season three. Next, we have Jade, who really thought this was a game. Yeah, he came in there thinking it was all a game until he found his first body, okay? And then he has now kind of obsessed with figuring out what From is and what it's all about. We also have Donna, who is another strong character that I adore. She runs the communal living home. Um, you basically have no rules. It's up and it's stuck over there. Um, we have Ellis, who I think is going to play a pivotal role in season three. And this is Boyd's estranged son, who won't talk to him ever since he unalived the zombie wife. But the wife was going to unalive everybody. We also have Sarah um, claims to hear these creatures and is doing their bidding, thinking that's going to be the thing to send her home. Um, there are a ton of mysteries that we still have jumping into season three. We need to talk about the biggest unanswered questions. First, what is the town? Is it an experiment? Is it a simulation? Are we in an alternate reality? Is this a new dimension? Is this another planet? 
by the end of season three, we better get answers to these questions. Is it purgatory? Listen, second, what are these creatures and how were they formed? Because they do present as human, but they're clearly not human. Are they like the undead? Are they like zombies? And finally, who or what is in control of all of this? Every time it feels like we're getting closer to the answer, we get a new curveball. And now with season three coming, I'm hoping we get some clarity and some resolution. Okay. What can we expect in season three? We've all seen hints about the town's origins. Um, Season three, I think we're going to get a deeper dive into who these characters are at their core. I think they are going to be met with so much opposition that their true nature will have no choice but to be revealed. I think it'll bring the best out in some. I think it'll bring the worst out in others. I also think we're going to start to see more people crack up. But more than anything, I'm hoping in season three that we get answers. At least let us know what from means. At least let us know how it all came into being. Give us a glimpse and don't let it be on the eighth episode. Don't play with me from creators, okay? There are so many fan theories. Be sure to go and check those out, baby. The Reddits are wild, okay? I need to know. But here's why I think season three is going to be a must watch. I feel like the stakes are higher than ever. Um, The group starting to break away and fracture and there being, again, more enmity in the town because of all of the newer people that have arrived there. I think that we're going to see a different side to the monster. And I can't wait to see what that's going to mean for the rest of the town. If you're into shows that keep you up, questioning everything that I think this might be the one for you so that's everything I feel like you need to know before jumping into from season three this show is definitely a slow burn mystery the first two seasons built up so so much anticipation I'm excited to see what season three brings I think it'll have you hooked though let me know in the comments what you're most excited about in season three um let me know if you have any crazy theory about what's really happening what from means who are the people are from, drop it in the comments. Let's have a discourse about this. Let me know. And also let me know if this is something you'll want to talk about weekly. Okay. So I'm only going to do it if y'all are going to show up and watch it with me. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, thank you. And please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all of the things. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.